So my name is Dr. Teresa Foley. I'm an instructor in the Department of Integrative Physiology. I have been at CU since 2000, where I did my undergraduate work, my master's work, my PhD work, my postdoc work, and then I got a faculty position here as an instructor, primarily teaching immunology and phys labs. So it's a very hot topic, vaccinations. Um, over the last 10 years, there's been a lot of debate about whether or not children should be vaccinated. Um, I think it's a very hot topic because vaccinations are extremely important for protecting against a lot of different infectious diseases. And so over the last 10 years, there's been a lot of research that has been done investigating the safety of the different vaccines. And they found that vaccines are completely 100% safe. Uh, there are still, of course, parents that are skeptical and have heard things through the popular media. And so because of that, they've stopped vaccinating. And because of that, there's been a lot of diseases that we thought we had gotten rid of that are now coming back. So like measles, for example, is one disease where the prevalence of measles has started to increase because parents have stopped vaccinating against measles. So it's, it's extremely important that parents do the research to see how safe vaccines are. Um, and not just listen to popular media <laughs> about that. So everyone should get vaccinated really for their own health. I mean, there's really, it's much better to get a little shot than it is to actually get, to actually get the disease. So for measles, for example, or hepatitis, you'll be bedridden for a couple days, whereas if you just get a vaccine, um, your arm might be sore for a couple hours and then you'll be okay. Um, the other reason to get vac vaccinated has to do with protecting everyone as a whole. So for children or for grandparents whose immune system is compromised, if they're exposed to someone who potentially has these diseases that didn't get vaccinated, they could potentially get them themselves. So by everyone getting vaccinated, not only are we protecting the young children and the older population, but we're protecting everyone as a whole. Yes, so India is a classic example of, they went through a countrywide campaign to give everyone the polio vaccine. And for the last 11 or 10 months, no one in India has developed polio. So yes, if everyone were to get vaccinated, we could potentially rid specific diseases. Of course, there's always going to be some diseases that we don't have vaccines for, but of the ones like polio, uh, hepatitis, and measles, and even influenza, potentially we could rid those diseases. Hopefully. So another good question. Um, I think it, for that question, it primarily depends where they're coming from. So like in the United States, we don't have too many cases of measles as much. So skipping the measles vaccine might be okay. Again, it's not ideal, but if you have to pick one or the other, um, I think it's best to look to see what diseases are prevalent in your specific area and try to get those vaccines first and then move on to some of the other ones. Um, kind of going back to the vaccine controversy, um, so the reason why parents were not vaccinating their children was because they thought there was a link between measles, the measles vaccine and autism. So they've done all these studies to show that there's not a link. What, there was a study that just came out a couple weeks ago down at Health Sciences Center that showed that pregnant women who get the flu are two times more likely, who get the flu during pregnancy are two times more likely to develop to have their kids develop autism. So it actually goes against what everyone was saying. So before they were suggesting that we shouldn't give vaccines to kids because they could get autism, mm -hmm. now what this study is suggesting is that we should be va uh, vaccinating pregnant women to protect, their, protect, them, protect them from preventing their kids to getting autism, which is kind of...